Hi, I'm Simon from iFleet and I'm going to be showing you how to make the most of your iFleet finger sensor. So before we start, you might want to, if you've got cold hands, you might want to rub them together or if you've got poor circulation, because we want good circulation in the, in, in the fingers where you're going to be doing the measurement. So it's important to choose a finger where the finger sensor is not too tight. Um, if you've got small or medium sized hands, then the index finger is probably a good choice. If you've got very large hands, you might want to use your little finger. If you've got particularly small hands, this will also work okay on the thumb. But for me, it should be working fine on the index finger. So next thing we're going to do is plug the figure sensor in to our phone or tablet device into the headset socket. That might be at the top or the bottom. Then we're going to want to rest the back of your hand on a firm surface such as a table for the duration of the measurement. So it's really important that you keep it still and also that the finger sensor itself is not touching anything which could cause motion artifacts and disturb the reading. It's a common cause of it finishing early. So we're going to go to take a reading. The next thing we're going to be looking for is a good strong signal. So we're going to be looking for three or four pips at the bottom of the screen. And then when our heart, the app has detected that our heart rate is stable, it's going to give us a green light to start the measurement. For breathing, it's important to uh, not to over breathe. So um, breathing in gently through the nose and out through the mouth is fine. Gently and relaxed. Keeping still, good strong signal strength, breathing gently. The measurement will be done in one minute and you'll be able to save your HRV. And um, we hope that you enjoy using the finger sensor and that you um, get great use out of iFleet as a training tool. Thanks and bye for now.